I have this uh, Ken Onion Work Sharp, uh, and I've had it for a while now, and I really like it, except um, I've had some issues with the guards. Um, for large, kind of flat kitchen knives like that, getting in and out is very easy and it does a great job. Um, some of my smaller knives, the handle is wide and awkward, and there's some features on it that make it want to not sit well in the guide uh, during portions of the blade, so this portion would never get sharpened quite right. Um, and pocket knives are even worse. Some of them have, you know, compound grinds on them and studs and things like that. And so getting it in there without hitting all that stuff is really difficult. So what I did was I came up with uh, kind of a way to do a freehand. So you rotate it such that the belt is vertical now and sit it like this. And I've created a little visual guide. And this is just a 3D printed block. Let's get you this over. This is just a 3D printed block, uh, 20 degrees and 25 degrees, and I've got a little visual indicator on here to let you know if you're high or low. So you sit it like this, and I won't tip the camera, but you're going to sight such that you can't see either of the colors, and then you're going to hold your knife once you got yourself sighted so that you can't see any of the knife. You're just looking at the back of the spine. And then you can go through and draw left, draw right, maybe take a few swipes on one side, a few swipes on the other. Um, so this isn't a hard and fast guide. You can you can screw up the angle, but if you're kind of keeping an eye uh, on this edge to know that you're not too high or too low, and you're keeping an eye down the length of your knife, um, with just a small amount of practice, you can actually get uh, really, really good results on any kind of a awkward shape so you know you, you won't be grinding any of the handle or any or any of the studs off of this thing because there's nothing around it to run into it's it's pretty easy and clean um, this thing is 3d printed and not everybody has that but you can just take a piece of wood and cut it you know with a 20 and a 25 degree angle and just sight down the edge of that block um, or use an angle guide or any or, you know gauge or anything like anything to give yourself a visual indicator that you're you're on target and you can get within a degree or two pretty easily. Um, so ditch the guide they give you, build yourself something like this, and get a lot better results out of your work sharp.